हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम टू रिफ्रेश कोडिंग माय नेम इज़ मधुलिका एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए डब्ल्यू एस कोड कमिट सो वॉट इज ए डब्ल्यू एस कोड कमिट इट इज सिक्योर इट सिक्योरली होस्ट हाईली स्केलेबल प्राइवेट गिट रिपोजिटरीज एंड कोलेबोरेट ऑन कोड सो दैट मीन्स इट इज़ अ सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ योर गिट हब रिपोजिटरी बट इट इज इंटायरली मैनेज्ड बाई ए डब्ल्यू एस सो बाई यूजिंग ए डब्ल्यू एस कोड कमिट यू कैन कोलेबोरेट ऑन योर कोड सेम एज योर गिट हब यू कैन यूज योर एग्जिस्टिंग टूल्स रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन और कस्टम स्क्रिप्ट और क्रिएट अप टू थाउजेंड रिपोजिटरीज बाई डिफॉल्ट एंड इट इज इंटायरली मैनेज बाई ए डब्ल्यू एस सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग यू जस्ट कैन कीप योर कोड हियर एंड यू कैन कोलेबोरेट विद इट सो नाउ वी विल सी प्रैक्टिकली हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट अ रिपोजिटरी विद ए डब्ल्यू एस कोड कमिट सो वॉट वी विल डू सो टू वर्क विद ए डब्ल्यू एस कोड कमिट फर्स्ट थिंग यू नीड आई आई एम यूजर विद अ सर्टन रोल्स ओके सो द फर्स्ट थिंग वॉट वी विल डू वी विल जस्ट गो टू आई आई एम कंसोल एंड हियर वी विल क्रिएट अ यूजर सो एल से एड यूजर एंड लेट से यूजर नेम इज आई गिव माई नेम लेट से मधुलेखा एंड जस्ट प्रोवाइड यूजर एक्सेस टू the aws management console and i want to create an iam user after this here see it is your choice if you want auto generated password you can take auto generated password i will take a custom password here so that i can remember and user must create a new password at next sign in no i don't want to create a new password so quickly i will just give, give here a password and i will do next and here if you see you have permission options so uh, if you have a group with a certain permissions you can add it there or you can copy the permissions or we can attach policies directly so that's what we will do here so we will attach some policies so what are the permission policies which we will attach with iam user to work with aws code commit so the first two is administrator access i want to give it administrator access and the second is AWS code commit and if you can see here three access are there with code commit full access power user and read only so here we will give it a full access that's it we will do next so we have two policies administrator access and code commit full access if your user is dealing with some other services also you will give permissions according to those services also but this user specially i am creating for aws code commit so i will give this two permissions and i will create the user so the user is created i will view the user continue okay so this is our user and it is there in users you can see our user is created so i'll open it we will keep it open here we will require this user to connect when we are trying to you know push the files and all to our aws code commit repository at that time we will require the credentials of this iam user so that's why i will keep it open as it is right now and okay one more thing right now i am log in with my other uh, user account so i will just sign out and uh, i will log back in with my current user which i have created which is a iam user so i will quickly give here the username which i have created next and i will give the password remember the user and sign in so make sure whatever user you have created you sign in with that user only after that we will go back to console we will sign in back here one more tab i am taking because we want to deal with aws code commit so here i will search for code commit and i will get code commit and right now if you can see in code commit we have no repositories right now we do not have any repository so we will create a repository 
i will give the repository name as say such as i can give any name not a problem let's say my repo or demo repo anything you can give description is optional but still you can give this is demo repository tags again you can add or you can ignore and enable amazon code code guru reviewer for java and python this is also optional so right now we are not working with any production code or anything which requires a review or something so we will just leave it and we will create the repository so if you can see our repository successfully created and if you go to the repositories my repo which is created but right now this my repo is empty there are no files inside it so first i will just quickly create a file manually here after that we will push the file from system so i will just show you quickly how we can create a file manually so let's say i will give the file content here this is my first file and inside this i will quickly give the file name let's say first file dot txt author my name email address commit message i will just give commit and commit changes okay so you can see now in the my repo we have now one file which is first file dot txt Uh, if you want to add other files you can add from here you can either create file or you can upload the file from your system directly here or we will see how we can do it through command line or you can say terminal after this we are in the main branch right now if you can see branch is main and same as you do in git here also you can create multiple branches and uh, you can collaborate and work with them after this if suppose you want to edit this file you can just click on this and you can ed edit it so let's say this is a new line that's it again you will have to provide all the details and you will have to save it so we will not we will just uh, leave that right now and i will go back to my repo now we will see how we can connect this code commit repository with our local system and how we can work with it and how we can push our files to code commit repository through our system so for that we will open the git uh, terminal first and uh, make sure in your system git is installed okay if git is not installed it will not work so right now if you see if i type here git it will give me all these options like branch commit merge rebase and all those things that means git is installed and it is working fine in my system so i can work with it after this what i will do for cloning this repository in my system what i will do i will clone the url first and i will take the clone https thing because right now we are going to connect it through https and i will just come here and i will say git clone and i will paste the url enter now if you see it is asking for a username now from where we will get this username so if you remember we have created a iam user i told you we would require this user to work with uh, you know code commit repository so i will just quickly go back to iam and here we have this user which we have created we will open it we will go back to security credential and here if you see we have https git credentials for aws code commit okay so what we will do we will generate the credentials 
and we will take the username from here we will go back to our terminal and we will give this username enter now it will ask for password same way we will be back here we will copy the password go back to terminal and paste it you cannot see the password and after that the repository should be cloned so there you go it is giving you done that means your repository is cloned and if you take uh, so we will go back to the repository first whatever repository we have created so we have created a my repo and plus this uh, folder will be created in your local system so just move to this path my repo and after this we will just do git status so what it is saying uh, it is on branch main and your branch is up to date and all those things we will just do ls and we are getting the first file dot txt if you can see this is the same file which we have created there manually so that's the reason i have created so that when i clone this repository you can see this file and you can understand that actually we have cloned the same repository now after this from here i want to push certain files to my code commit repositories for that what i will do see here my repo is created in my system uh, here i have some files this is a different repository i have some files and i want to push these files to my code commit repository so first i will copy these files in my local repository uh, which is index.html and buildspec.yaml these two files are there and i will push these files to code commit repositories so now if you do here ls you can see we can see three files earlier only one file was there first file.txt now if you can see we got three files buildspec.yaml first file.txt and index.html now after this we will run certain more commands so we will first thing we will say git add index dot html see since we are in the same repository where our file is there so we will simply say this and it will work if we are in some different repository uh, we will have to deal with the path of that particular repository also so git add index.html and buildspec.html no sorry not buildspec.html but buildspec.yaml okay it's a typo sorry okay so our files are added after this what i will do i so i'll say git commit and dash m and i will give here a message as two files added that's it you can give any message not a problem so what it is uh, telling you that it is saying that uh, two files changed okay and it is giving you these two files buildspec.yml and index.html and these two files are added after this what we will do git push so that we will push the files to our code commit repositories and if you can see here now it is done and the files are pushed so after this we will go back to our code commit repository here and we will verify it so we will just open the repository once again and we will go to my repo and there you go you can see you got three files now first file index.html and billspec.yaml so what we have done first thing we have created a iam user and we logged in through iam user after that we have created a code commit repository we have created this first file we have cloned the repository to our local system and we have pushed two files from our local system to our code commit repository 
so that's it in this video make sure git is installed in your system before doing all these things practically in the next video we will see how we can do the code build and uh, thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like it and please subscribe to the channel thank you